Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with my first tutorial in a long time. As I said many times before, the move interrupted my whole procedure here. This is the first time I've been able to sit down one on one and do this with you guys in a long time. I'm sorry about that, but I will make up for it by doing some pretty awesome tutorials in the next couple months, so keep an eye out for that. As always, thank you for the support because you guys are freaking awesome. If you haven't followed me, Please subscribe now. There's a subscribe button somewhere on here. All right. So now off to my first tutorial in a long time. As the title says, it's going to focus on building with the PO12. Uh, I've had a few comments on, on a lot of my songs being like, oh, man, I like the PO12. I like the PO12. I like you doing with the PO12. And so I figured I'd just kind of throw out like a starting guide to maybe if you have the PO12 and you're doing some cool stuff you have some cool beats going but you're not really developing as much on the PO12 as you want maybe this will kickstart kind of some ideas because this is just a general building block of kind of what I started off doing with PO12 at the beginning and then it's c still kind of where I start with actually kind of with every song I kind of start with this general concept and I branch off from it you know nothing's like music nothing all parts of music, nothing is written in stone. So, it you know, take it with a l loose grip and kind of um, go with it. Hmm. So, with no further ado, I'll sh show you my little chart over here. This is a simple chart, simple, simple, simple stuff. Uh, it's going to tell you what I'm going to be doing today. Um, the squares represent patterns. I'll be building a base pattern. It's going to be my first pattern I build. After that, I'll build an alternate version of that pattern, alternate A. And after A, I'm going to build a second alternate pattern of the base pattern, would be alternate B. So I'll have a base pattern and two alternates of that pattern. And at that point, I'm going to chain them together based on the description below. It'll be base pattern, alternate A, base pattern, alternate B. That's going to be the cycle of the four part chain. It's very simple, simple concept, but it's a good thing to start with. Definitely when you're working with rhythm. And then from there, you can get all crazy, crazy and creative and go off with it. But it's a good starting point. And I'll show you. Right now, we'll start with the bass pattern. So now that I have an empty canvas and I know the, I know the next couple are empty, by the way, if you want an emptier track, if you hold down function and hit pattern, it'll delete whatever pattern is currently highlighted. And you can tell which pattern hi is highlighted depending on if you hold down the pattern button. So I deleted the top tracks to know they're all blank right now, so I have an empty canvas, canvas to work on. Um, I'm going to make my bass pattern now. It's going to be a simple um, just bass, snare, and hi-hat. So I'll do that right now in front of you guys, and that this will be my base pattern like I showed you in that paper before. As simple as that is, I'm going to copy that over to another pattern and make an alteration. To copy a pattern, you simply hold down right, hold down pattern, and hit where you want to copy. You have 16 patterns. All each of these numbered buttons are can be a pattern. So I've copied that over to pattern two. Now if I go over to pattern two, it's the same beat. So now I'm just going to change maybe the snare for now. Ah. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay, so now you, at least you have two copies. So even if you chain together just pattern one and two, you have some alteration. Which is cool, but usually in a drum beat, that fourth pattern is going to have a little bit more change to it. So that's where the alteration B is going to come in. So now just copy that new part you made over into the next bank.
cat. Haven't tried that. It took me a little while to find it, but let's try that as the fourth alteration. So now I'm going to build the power I was talking about. I'm going to take it, build, start with my base pattern, go to alteration, base pattern, second alteration. And if you notice, and if I hit down this, the light actually goes to those patterns. Just by holding down the pattern button, shows you the path. So now you have kind of, you know, you get a general drum beat to work with. Now you can start playing with the effects on this thing that are actually recorded in real time, which is, might be the funnest part of this little machine. And I'll kind of show you that right now with how you can kind of add variation to the beat just with playing with the effects. All right, guys, so I sat down with that drum machine a little bit. I cut things out, edited it a little bit, and I hooked it up into my microcorg, and I figured I would just let you s see, you know, kind of what it sounds like with another instrument behind it, not just by itself. Alright guys, that was quick, that was easy, but I just wanted to show you the building block of how I work with the PL12, and from there, um, it's going to be a lot more than that. And anyone with the PL12 that's kind of new to it and didn't really doesn't know how to chain together things that well, I figured that's a good building block to work upon, so it, was, it would be a good newbie tutorial to start with. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you like this stuff at all, and you're into the synthesizers and jams or tutorials or you found anything in this video helpful please subscribe like i said before because th there's a link somewhere on here it's down below in the channel so just click on the subscribe button it'll be awesome man and till next time youtube you guys have a great day